She said, well, you're the champion roper. You do this, and you ride horses, and you do all of this sort of thing. And I said, and there's uh, uh, the head wrangler? Oh, yes. And there was a silence, and she said, well, she said, you see, um, I liked you, but I'd fallen in love with the head wrangler. And I said, Agnes, continue. And she said, well, you see, that's how it'll be at the end. And I said, Agnes, in that case, I'm not in your valley. She said, what? I said, here am I doing all of this, rehearsing, I'm riding, I'm doing all of this, and he really gets you at the end? I said, not for me. We didn't see each other for three or four days. I went to the rehearsal thinking, well, this was going to be it. She said, Freddie, may we talk? And I said, of course, Agnes. She said, I've changed my mind. And Frederick, they were doing it full out, you know? It wasn't just the dance steps. It was coming from their guts. Frederick Franklin never danced the way he did last night. The role of Stanley suited him perfectly, offering the frank brutishness of the character in terms of a lunging ferocity of grace and a brooding undercurrent of menace. Mia Slavenska was incredible in the power of characterization she gave the troubled heroine. The moments of calm, courtly prudery suddenly offset by seizures of savage desire. The spiritual poise shattered by the frenzies of physical abandon. How beautifully and pitifully the deranged girl groped through a row of open doors for fleeting figures of a taunting past. I had the feeling last night that only ballet could express the unexpressible lurkings in the corners and crevices of Mr. Williams' play. And it was one of the, one of the really most wonderful things I ever did, uh -huh. you know, in my career, which was, I had that opportunity given to me and with working with Valerie, who was quite remarkable and wonderful. So, so it was a major breakthrough for you. Oh, it was. Your it was, yes. Mm -hmm.